We are live. We are live. Okay. Great. We're going to continue our work on the Lester. This is a customer piano, right? It is. Chair caskets. Um, hmm. Those, those are office chair caskets. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's. Uh, so we're gonna um, continue work on this. So, um, Jacob, you weren't here last week. Nope. Right. But everyone else was. You weren't here. Oh, you're in San Francisco. That's right. I wasn't here either. I was in bed. <laughs> I was wishing that I was in bed. <laughs> But to be fair, I had a few. Just had to get a picture. Um, okay, so what we've done so far is uh, is we took out all the dampers. We of course took all the cabinetry apart. We put it under the stairs. That's our current spot for this piano. Um, by the way, we have a solution for that coming that I'm really excited about for cabinetry and parts which is like the bane of our existence, we are going to revolutionize that issue. It's going to be so, so much better. Um, it is a revolution. So we uh, took all the cabinetry out, took, took the action out, kind of gathered parts, took, took out the, the dampers, um, took down the uh, tension, took all of these off, and by the way, did you know that there are some pianos that you can remove the plate without taking the strings off? Without removing tension? You have to remove tension. Oh, but you can leave them off. Yeah. How do, you, how do you know if you can do that? Lift. Lift it up oh, after you've see. taken out. Just yeah. see. Oh, okay. Um, Paul Ray told me about that because it, it's cool. it's something that I that never would have even occurred to me. Um, so I never have tried it. Um, unfortunately, this is not one of them. Hmm. Does it depend on how thin blocks it has? Yes. Exactly. That's right. Do you still have a hard time coming off the bridge though. hold my strings a little bit. Well, and, and on this one, I, I, for that reason, I have, the, I have the strings pulled up over the bridge. Oh, so they're off the bridge pins. Already. Yeah. You see how they're, mm -hmm. I plucked them all off yeah. like that. So, you, so yeah, that's, that's right. And actually, um, did you guys move that piano out? That wrapped one to make make room for this. Stop. Is there room over by the uh, um, breaker? Breakers? No. In front of that piano, I guess. I mean, behind, how about behind that piano? Is this, this piano was set up over there. Okay, so I have an upright Esther at home. Oh, yeah. That's my piano. Yeah. 
It's a good piano. I've seen a few come through. It's heavy. So yeah, Scott, you're exactly right. Um, if if the pin block is uh, is not screwed to the inner rim, you can just lift lift it all right out, which would be amazing. I mean, it would be yeah. super convenient. So much easier. Um, Paul Ray told me that. And, and I've never, I've never had to do it, but he told me that um, that Highland is one of those pianos that you can do that. Hmm. So that would be cool. I'm sure one then day. Then 30 we'll years from now, and you know, 130 years from now. That's right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wow. When we have to rebuild it. Right. <laughs> exactly. 130 years from now. I don't think I'll be working on pianos at that point. They'll have the technology to keep you alive still, so oh, don't worry. Got it. <laughs> so this, I mean, it does come up a little bit. That's pretty cool, though, that you don't have to take off the strings. How much time does that save you? Well, it's 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 actually not about time savings. Oh. Um, in, in a piano like this, because we're taking off the strings anyway. Oh, okay. But it's it's more for um, if there's some reason that you have to get at the soundboard, mm. but you're intending on using the same. So so for example, if if one of these pianos um, has a has a soundboard issue that you have to repair. And you want it to be perfect. Uh, you could either you could either take off, you know, all of the strings section. in a section, mm -hmm. and you could pull them back. Or I don't know, I don't know why. Why was Paul telling me that? There there must be a reason that that you'd have to get at the soundboard. If maybe there's a crack that goes all the way through or something, and I don't know. or maybe if there's a crack that's under here. You can clean it. Easier. <laughs> yeah. <I should> <laughs> yeah. Extreme cleaning. Yeah, extreme cleaning. <laughs> but this wouldn't. It, it won't come up any further, and I think it's. I think mean, it's because of the screws under there. So. Um, steps um, we need to we need to remove the bass strings and uh, measure and and get them on a get them in a coil we need to remove tuning pins and then take off those screws we'll pull the plate um, then maybe we'll look at the uh, um, termination point under here. We'll file it down, get it re uh, get get rid of the, the gouges in the in the plate under there. Of course, you have cast iron versus steel, and the steel is going to win. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Every time. Every time. So you've got you've got gouges, mm -hmm. kind of like kind of like what you see on on felt, the felt hammers, mm -hmm. where it where it causes those indentations on the hammer. Same thing. You've got little indentations on the cast iron under here. So we'll we'll kind of round that. We'll, we'll <coughs> want to round it to about a one eighth inch diameter. So not not too much of a point because that causes the strings to break but not too not too rounded either because that causes termination do you round that with a file or how do you sandpaper oh just sand yeah yeah, yeah. we use um, maybe 120 or 220 mm -hmm. something like that something in there um, 
now, one thing I was wondering yeah. is well, why don't they use the A refs all the way up? The A refs? A refs, yeah. I think expense oh. is the reason. Because they could do that. They could. Right? Yeah. Some jams do that. All the way up. Yeah. yeah. Were you going to say something? That trough uprights do that. Yeah. Did a couple of those recently. Mm. Where expense is You're doing another one today, Scott. Yeah. yeah, Petrov's are not a cheap piano. No. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know for sure because I've never designed a piano. Yeah. I've only copied what people that actually know what they're doing. Yeah. We hope they know what they're doing. We hope they know. Yeah. No, um, and so that's that's my assumption is the reason that it's designed. No, that would be awesome. I wish I would have could have the opportunity to design a piano, but um, not enough to do a drastic right turn in my career. When you're in your hundreds, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that'd be super cool. Oh, nice, great, thank you. Sure. So uh, we need to we need to measure the measure the strings. Get these off. I like to get the plate off. Get it upside down. We'll start looking at the at the pin block, depending on how much time we have here. Uh, we might even be able to get the other pin block out and get it sort of planned. I don't know how much time we'll have, but so are um, you replacing these? All of the strings. All strings. All tuning pins. We're going to replace the pin block. Um, it looks like, yeah, well, now, it, is this a, is this a soundboard repair? Does that look like soundboard repair in the past to you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Several of them. Yeah, there's quite mm -hmm. a few where these lines are. Yeah, where are the, <laughs> and they've cracked a long repair. So even yeah, down here, the tiny one. Look at that. <laughs> it's all the way up. Bad, um, it's interesting. So I've actually heard. I'll call. I'll call him later today and and find out um, what the what the process is. But I've heard uh, from a refinisher in Linden that. Uh, that a repair that he's had really, really good luck with is basically filling cracks with CA glue hmm. and then just sanding it down. Interesting. Yeah. Kind of a cool idea. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never done it. But Certainly easier than the way that I fixed mine. Oh, with, with the buttons and yeah. the screws. Well, your that that piano was different because it needed because the ribs were separating. Oh, it, it needed. That's a different the, issue. It needed the connection with the sound. <coughs> yeah, he's talking about more of because I I would say that that um, even though these cracks have reseparated, I'd say it's it's not a problem. Yeah. Except for except for like a cosmetic. Yes, the serial number is 35088. Hey, that's good to know. Um, I was going to look on my phone. Where did you get that from? Yeah. Joe got it last week. I couldn't find it when I first It's in the woods sometimes, right? It, it, I no, think or that's was it on this one? They're always in a, sometimes they're in unusual places. Might have been on the uh, cheek box. That's why we couldn't find it. Yeah, I think so. 35088. I think so. I put it on the spreadsheet. Okay. So when we uh, take off the base string, so we gonna use that cool tool where you put it over the pin and whack it? The Beckett breaker? The Beckett breaker? Yeah. That's yeah. fun. <laughs> Good. <laughs>
Yeah. Wanna do it? Okay. Yeah, it's fun. All right, let's do it. You know where the Becca breaker is? I think so. Okay, get a hammer. Um, it's hammer time. That's, it. that's right. And then, uh, do we have a, it seems like we had an A-graph remover, but mm -hmm. it broke. It broke. I used one on the Steinway. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. That sound fun, Jake? Sounds really fun. <laughs> Sounds really fun. Okay, well let's let's do it. Okay, Jake, we get uh, you know that big drill, that big red drill. There's there's two drills. There's one little one and there's one big beefy one. Big red drill. Yeah. In the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just grab that and then. Uh, and we'll get the, yeah, go, go ahead and grab that. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Do you have any, um, any questions or any viewers or, or any comments? How have viewers. We have Christy, Louie, and Jen Green. Cool. And I am going to botch that name. Anil, maybe? Dennis. Morris. Elton. Hello, everyone this morning. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so for those of you who are just joining us, what we're doing is we're rebuilding this uh, um, Lester. What is this, about a six? I can't remember how big it is. Six, two, it's maybe? Over, yeah. yeah, it's pretty big. It's a pretty good size. Yeah. Yeah, a really fun project. Um, it's got really pretty, um, Salt Lake. pretty legs on it. Yeah. And pretty detail. You can't see it all right now, but. Yeah. Um, we we played it last week, and uh, and it, it's just very weak. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try and see what we can do about that. Weak. What do you mean by weak? Well, it you'd think that for a piano this size yeah, that's that over six weak. feet that that it should be powerful, or at least you mm -hmm. should have access to a whole lot of power, and it should should be potentially. Um, Well, pleasing to play, yeah. and this piano, frankly, wasn't. And so, um, so I'll be re redoing everything and, and uh, redoing the strings, the uh, repair the soundboard. Bridges are in really good condition. Uh, here are the bridges, mm -hmm. here and here are those. So, so we're going to leave those alone. Um, there's no reason to do anything on the bridges. But we're replacing strings and pins and mm -hmm. pin block. Else, yeah. Okay, so um, go for it. You ready for some racket? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought I, I looked David for go. the ear, hearing protection and suit. So I'll just use my headphones. I guess it's really not that loud. Put it on foil before we start taking off the pins. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's do that. Egg wraps are holding them for now. Let's start getting them off. Do you know what year the pin the luster is? Hmm. Yeah. That's a great question. What year it is? Oh, that is a good question. I you know what? We just got the now, serial number. Yeah. Um, Thirty-five thousand. Okay. I will look it up for you, Christy. You yes, that's the one. Hey, Jake, we, we uh, have a plug pretty close here. Oh, okay. Has ever, Jake just version. knows how to do that kind of stuff. What's the year? I don't know when they started. But... Da, 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 da. My guess is 1937. Okay, I'm going to say... 19... 
10. 20. Oh. <laughs> no. I, I'm just guessing, too. <laughs> I'm like, darn. <laughs> I got it wrong. Okay, 1910, 19, 1934. Everyone take a guess. I'm going to say 1921. <laughs> oh, me. It's like the price is right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 1906. 1906. Oh, oh wow, 1906. David, right. so, got it. <laughs> David owes us breakfast now. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, you win. <laughs> 1910? You said 1910. Oh, hey, yay! You, got it. you owe us breakfast. I owe you breakfast. What should I go get? <laughs> Are you guys all here for a while? <laughs> Maybe all that looking up yours is paying off, or maybe I was just lucky. Mm -hmm. I don't know just yet. Julio! Julio! Hi, good morning! Let me hold that for a second. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna get some pictures while well. actual pictures where I can go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get video, but I don't get footage very often. So. Hey, Dawson, hey, good Dawson. morning! Hi! Hey, guys, wanna smile? Shop, photo, get it. You guys don't be scared of photos. Yay. Yay. Okay, one, two, three. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. You, you got on camera too. Oh, ah! <laughs> Not used okay, to then, um, Scott, will you head up um, the measurement of the treble strings? Yeah. So, are we ready okay, to board. start rocking these? Yes. Are we? It's my favorite part. Nice. But you can you can probably uh, you can probably cut them because the because it leaves the coil anyway. Just cut them. Yeah, cut them. Cut them. That's nearly as fun as whacking them. Well, first well, first you, still you have to whack them. Oh, oh, okay. oh you get to do both. <laughs> Aha! This is how we do it. Up the it actually breaks the back because it, it goes over. It goes around the things. Yeah. It breaks the string. Just oh, so we can get it off. It breaks that becket. Yeah. The, the thing that the wire that yeah, comes through so the becket. Got it. Oh, stuff. I didn't yeah. know what a becket was. You guys... So it's that little. Yeah, got. I know what it is now. Becket. And that is the piano oh, word for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Sesame Street. I was babysitting my niece the other day and we were watching Sesame Street. So. Good morning, Caleb. We are breaking Beckett's on a Lester You want to do this, Jack? Have you ever done this before? No. It's really fun. <laughs> Very satisfying. I like the feeling of it when you go pop, pop through the Beckett. So you can feel it when you're doing that? Yeah, you can okay. feel it slide down. That's okay, great. Wait, don't, don't hold it yet. Oh, there. Did you feel it? I felt it. And here yeah, they are down. grouping the strings in order. For these strings that we have to ship off to get ones made, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So. We're very particular on getting in order. And the reason we send all of this, all of these strings, where it, the strings will be made, is so that they can measure the diameter and four the, the length of like the coil, mm -hmm. like the, the best kind of coil. Yeah, name the four measurements, Scott, on a bass string. So there's... <laughs> That's cool. Can you, know, can you name it, Stacy? <laughs> That's the question. You knew there's four. <laughs> so there's this measurement behind the coil here. There's the length of the copper. Mm -hmm. And then there's the diameter of the steel part and the yep. diameter of the copper part. Yeah. You got it. I did know that. And occasionally if there's a double. I thought you did. Yeah. 
Huh? I've never actually measured it though myself to do it. So I don't know if I, I don't know. That would be the next step to actually want. measure. Oh, yeah. It's just a matter of time before you But I've sent in a lot of um, string orders. To hear for now. Like random ones, so. Yeah, you got to make sure we get all these. Yeah, you know. Don't they like cheer or something? Like you got I, think I think that's Pee Wee Herman. But oh. <laughs> oh, I'm getting my kids shows all mixed up. It's been too long. It's the secret word of the day. <laughs> ah, you're right. <laughs> Stacy, what's the word of the day? Um, Beckett. Beckett. What is it? Beckett. Mean? It's this. <laughs> it, it, he's breaking them right now. It's it goes through the pin and kind of holds it there. And yeah. he's breaking them. <laughs> it's, the, it's the bend in the wire. It's the bend in the wire. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? That bend in the wire would have. So that's really like you call it the bend in the wire. You should. Bend in the wire. You call it the bend. That in the goes wire, through the chain. Beckett. I bet you the guy who invented the last name was Beckett, probably. It's gotta be it. It's Thomas. He wanted to have Thomas his name in Thomas Beckett yeah, was him. <laughs> from 1842. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had Beckett's back then. Oh, yeah. Okay, David, you want to... Um, never, I've never seen this before. This these. is really fun. I've never seen oh, yeah. you guys do this. No? This is like this totally is cool. a first. So Look cut it so we can get it through. Yeah. Now, so you break the Beckett Here, the wire. So it's better for the film. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> and this one's flying. Yeah, I was going to say, eye protection. Yeah. Here, let's see if we can do it. That's pretty awesome. Uh, there's got to be one for this. Well, I got one good shot of it. We got, we got one. <laughs> That's really loud. Jacob's over here. Ooh, we're busy. Teaming up. Scott's filling out paperwork. <laughs> Wires flying everywhere. I'm gonna put this on. <laughs> Doing good, Jay. Three five zero eight eight. Brigham's got every piano serial number in the shop. Yeah. It's like in a the whole store. <laughs> and I can't keep track of the one that's like right in front of me. <laughs> Can I borrow the wire cutter? Oh, cool, huh? Thanks. So, if you've been watching us before, we got a new camera holder while well, we're borrowing, <laughs> but it makes things a little more smooth. Adela. Adela Pearson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, awesome. this is a slightly too big usually. Kind of switchy. I went to a picture at the same time. Wow, that's Just awesome. kidding, I know. Well, this helps actually because it's stable. Do you want to hold it for a second? Thanks. Oh. So it's going to hit the back of you. It's a little helpful.
like scared to touch anything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I did earlier. I'm like, tap, reset. <laughs> Good morning, Gilberto. Lots of people on today. Good morning. <laughs> so, um, I am I am kind of curious. People that are watching, um, so I've done this so many times that for me this is just kind of like another day at the office. But uh, what what is fascinating about this? Um, what's what's uh, the reason that you're taking up your your valuable morning time to check this out. Yeah. Maybe it's because we're tearing into a piano and doing things to it that normally you wouldn't normally you see wouldn't done. Do. <laughs> so it's so fun. Yeah. We're tearing apart the miracle machine. What's that from? The Miracle Machine. It's a talk by Del Renland. It was his first talk as an apostle. That's right. Hmm. I knew I He talked him. about the piano. The Miracle okay. Machine. Right. That's what that's from. They reference pianos a lot. Actually. Del Renland had me at hello. Mm -hmm. He had me at... Good morning, yeah, okay. Carla. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, if you have any questions, feel free to... Send them to us. And Scott, what are you writing down? I'm writing down the diameter of the strings. Oh, great. Oh, important measurement. And we send that in when we get new strings. Oh, so that's for, that for the, us? We do that. The steel ones. That when we we ones when oh, that we do. Okay. When we yeah. restring, we use those. Which is why we don't need the length. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Just getting the diameter. That's cool. I'm gonna hold hold the spot for you. Yeah. Let's figure oh. out where they switch. You get, get it in the <laughs> I'm eye? okay. No, I'm okay. <laughs> See, I, I'm lucky. I always have eye protection. Oh, that one was pretty close. Though. I was like, whoa. I think an angel like okay. that, right? Exactly. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Yeah, piano string is, can be very unforgiving. It's very strong. It's too strong and it will cut you. I got multiple cuts when I was restringing. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. That'll be pretty. I'll have to send this to the customer. This video. Uh, sawdust. Oh. For one of the wedges. Oh, okay. Section, Jake, do you want to take the pins out? I think it's done. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Oh, it's fun. Good that big drill. Well, I like, oh, it's actually easier to hold than. Oh. Mm, like, it's real. actually like easier. Like, oh, usually around this time, uh -huh. if I exercise my arms, there's that morning. Yeah, and... Hello, good morning. No, se te olvide mi. No, yeah. Bienvenida. No, no, no. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. <laughs> okay. Para que te refresquen las neuronas del cerebro. Más que Bueno. Ahí te lo encargo. Gracias. Okay. Yeah. It's probably the end of the stream. Creo que lo necesitaba Stacy para ayer. Creo que lo necesitaba Stacy para ayer. Hear my name. <laughs> 
that in the drill. Is that then, something uh, good? <laughs> do you want to do the egg wraps? Just like barbecue. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's good. Good. Man, that should have stay sweet though. Is it, are they yeah. twisted on? Are they, is there a thread? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'll come. <laughs> Point out the Brigham's not just yanking them out. There's a Careful. reason for that. What's why, would, that? Why, why is that, Jacob? It's a good point. Because the less that you damage the plate and everything around it, oh, the less yeah. you have to repair later on. Mm. I think Brigham's just careful anyway. <laughs> That's right. Oh, rather than just pulling it out, he's kind of gently. Yeah, yeah fresh, I, I can freshly see that. cut steel wire is pretty sharp. Yeah, that's Especially true. on gold that's paint. True. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's fragile paint from 1906. Okay, what are what are guesses um, of the material that this this is actually what um, most of the weight of a piano is mm -hmm. comes from right here so what are guesses of the material that this is made out of from our mm -hmm. home viewers heavy metal <laughs> it's not vibranium, vibranium. <laughs> it's bell metal mm. right yeah They're obscure metals. <laughs> Are these uh, broken? No. You break those too. The, the Beckett's. Beckett! Um, yeah. Break those Beckett's! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excited. Oh, they are? Oh, help me remember it's too. The, <laughs> My word. the word of the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> too bad I can't, like, um. Wait, can I, like, or make fireworks? <laughs> <laughs> that would okay. be cool. Oh. What does this do? That looks like it might. I don't know five. Ooh. Oh, I have no, no idea. Uh, then be cut. Uh, oh, I, I don't no know. Idea. Oh, uh, how do I get out of it now? Uh, I'll just. Look at it. That would have been cool, though. Is there a way to make like balloons or fireworks on your phone when we say the word of the Beckett. day? Beckett! <laughs> oh, I'm saying that right in the phone. I'm so sorry to our viewers. Just got excited. So, my, my guess <laughs> Good guess. Is that, right? <laughs> is that right? Do we have any um, entrance? The, the <laughs> no. question is what is this big gold? Colored metal thing made out of. What is that? I haven't had any guesses. Can no you... guesses yet. Okay. Maybe. No. I want some. For, from our vast viewership. Seems like a weird distribution. Long time. This is our log that's or relog. That's how this thing is. Was it? Kind of it skips. It skipped. It's like... really fine. There's a couple, there's only a couple there, and then there's tons of this size. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's the way that because it curves. Oh, yeah. You're taking out tuning pins. The, uh, no, not tuning pins. What are you doing? Oh, that's right. You're Here's taking the... out the A graphs. Oh, yay! Uh, yeah, but we want to keep those. Are they, yes. They're all the same size, right? There's no. Does it matter when you put them back in? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It well, does matter? B is for A graph. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. B is for Beckett! <laughs> 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 I knew what an A graph was. Yeah. Thank you. 
David's collecting all the egg wraps. So I'm quite tight. I'd be Hi, Clint. Good morning. If you can oh, close this watch it. Yeah. Oh, Clint. Anything to say? Clint. I'm going to say anything to Clint. Clint, <laughs> what is the plate made out of? Yeah, we're taking a pull on what they, what people think this. I'm going to set it. This is Where's made of. <laughs> okay. Make sure to pay. Just Hi. make a mental note of how many single and. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And if there are, were there tricords? One, two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. My guess is eight. Okay. One, Sounds two, good. three, four, five, six. If I push this, what'll Because then it goes into the tube. Do it. Uh oh. How do I stop it? It's too much. Um, how do I get rid of it? Finish? Um, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we're okay. It didn't finish it. I have no idea. How <laughs> oh, we get it off? Um, do we just... Oh, yeah. Oh, here. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, man. Some of these are really hard. It's like they've been on for 112 <laughs> years. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you wish you had a... A ratchet. Oh, never know. Put some torque on it. Probably could. That could be arranged. <laughs> mm. No, I know That'd be pretty handy for that first. I'll use it again. <laughs> little bit. You never know when you need the flower thing. That one wasn't so bad. The first like notes the last falling down or something. Yeah, right. Super tight. Yeah. That means a human. Is a non machine. <laughs> Oh, cool. David's a good guy. So no one came up with uh, what this metal is No one could guess of? what this was made out of right hey, here. Hey, David Pistana, what is that metal made out of? Right here. Can you guess this, this yeah. gold-colored metal? Right here. <laughs> and it's gold not gold. Painted. <laughs> An old color yeah. We'd be rich. Oh, yeah, we would collect those off of pianos if they were... <laughs> We just do some shavings. <laughs> we keep the shavings. <laughs> there you go. David is the reason that we own a lot of the inventory that we do. David Pistana. Thank you, David. Thanks, David. You see if I use the piano? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um... No. The reason that we own a lot of the inventory that we do, because of David, is because, so Carmel and I had a duplex for a lot of years, and when we, and we sold it not too long ago, about a year ago, I think. The Provo? Mm hmm And um, the plan was to just put all that money into buy inventory, and David sold that place. He's a real estate agent. And he created all sorts of hype around that property and marketed it like crazy. And it sold for way more than we were even <laughs> expecting. That's so awesome. viewers, if you need to sell your so, house, call David Pistana. I couldn't <laughs> awesome. recommend David Pistana. That's great. More. Awesome. Yeah. And that's, and that's actually, um, I mean, that's, that's sincere. We've, we've actually used a lot of real estate agents in the past for different things that's that we've great. Done. And David is awesome. Those he is the strings. real deal. Getting them ready to 
and ship off. It's okay to use a lot of zip ties in that process. Yeah. Um, and when you're unzip tying them, use caution. Because you might lose your eye. Because I have gotten hurt doing that. I didn't realize how tightly coiled they are. Yeah. <laughs> That's why there's like 20 zip ties. It's just because they like to teach it zip ties. Danger. Yeah. Because they're fun to use. <laughs> it's because zip ties are fun. Oh, yeah. Do you guys know what that tool is called? The A-graph removal. A-graph probably is. Is that what you guys call it? I made that oh, up. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> you call it the rice. <laughs> there you go. Like the bucket. <laughs> the bucket. <laughs> So why is the A graph called an A graph? Hmm. Or an A graph, depending on where you live. Or an A graph. So is it G R A P H or G R A F F? Isn't it? I think it's F F E. Oh. That's a name. Is it? Yeah, it's got to be a name. So it must be named after someone. It's after Johannes Graf. A graph. A graphy. <laughs> or something like that. Or maybe it's Italian. Well, I think this is awesome. I've never seen um, a piano disassembled like this before, getting ready for rebuild. So, so I think this is actually really cool. Yeah. With the, um, this is pretty cool. Think, so you can. Um, oh yeah, there's the bit the right there. Like I think we can do this later. Awesome. I don't have to, like, it's actually easier to hold, too. Hmm. Like, if I do, yeah, then. if I do biceps that day and I'm holding it, like, after 25 minutes, I'm like, oh, my God. I, I love that. I think that's some serious torque. Oh, yeah. No so, losses for money. You just put them on there. Yay! Now, in this case, we're not worried about heating up the... The pin block. You know how you would be? Um. Yeah, the thing is that doesn't slow down. Yeah. That's the only downside of it. That is quite good. It's sweet. That's a real tool. That's a man's tool right there. Or a woman's tool. A big woman. <laughs> a big woman. That's a big woman's tool. <laughs> You really have to. That one's yeah. really in there. Yeah, really in there. Why don't you, uh. There you go. There you go. Didn't want to release. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Well, I heard that one, yeah. I don't like that. That one was pretty high. I'll, I'll come behind you and then I'll, I'll take them out once you, you get them as far as you can, just follow them up as far as you can go. Okay. Right before it squeaks, stop. <laughs> Let's get the 
to the buy your wire on the house. Sure, thanks. I forgot you got to do this side still. Okay. Just want to try this. May not work, but Jacob said he did it that way. Just got down tight enough. Good morning, Gary. <laughs> Which Gary? Oh, totally. uh, totally. Hope I said it right. Oh, that thing's not really Much better. Could be battery. I could try that battery. Yeah, I, I have to keep counting. Oh, okay. So I know this is oh. 88. Got it. Okay, so you count them. Okay. <laughs> C is for calipers. <laughs> D. Dag, maybe? Dag is this, is this uh, paint. It's a That's a, a dag? A graph. Al or uh, graphite um, alcohol. <laughs> and I 
called very, that? That's very piano specific. D A P. What? Why? Why is that? Why do they do piano, that? Words are weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's so we sound very intelligent when we're talking about all of. <laughs> they do that in computers too. Yeah. It's like, why? Yeah. <laughs> no one knows. No one knows. Maybe if we took a full piano study course, we would start. Understanding where this is. Is it okay if I just cut through? Um, so, so take these eight graphs off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it'll, be, it'll be easier if you, uh, well, are you able to, to put these up over the. Let's see, where is that tool? Oh, haha. <laughs> there you go. I'll get another one. <laughs> That's the most useful tool right there. Nice job, Jake. Thanks. Here we are. Making progress. Beautiful tuning pin removal. <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk to Dwayne McGuire several weeks ago. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. What did Dwayne say? Oh, he saw my application for the um, Piano Technicians Guild. Great. And he called me up. Awesome. <laughs> like, oh, not even a day, <laughs> not even so a day great. later. <laughs> really? He's yeah. So great. He's on the ball. He's on the ball. Totally. Way to go, Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne's a good guy. He yeah. is. Really good. Piano technicians are good guys. Sure That's are. actually a soundboard uh, yeah. shimmy tool. Shimmy. Yeah. Information overload. There we go. Medieval torture devices. Yeah. I don't know what they do. It's like all right. kinds of. <laughs> yeah, let's see him in like Hilga's bag. <laughs> If you try and do more than one, it won't cut. What's the world record for? What is up with that? <laughs> is there a... I can't two. I don't know. Can you oh. invent another tool, David? Yeah. <laughs> a grinder. It's called an angle grinder. <laughs> oh, oh, that would work. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's my favorite tool. That was a fun tool. Other than maybe a metal lathe. It's the most used tool I have. You're right, it does not cut through two. Mm -hmm. I want it to. Maybe that would be good if, maybe it's to prevent. Uh, From bodily, to prevent bodily injury. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too many strands flying in the air at once. Did you mark the uh, tight string? Yeah. Well, but then the problem I have now is that the wire is on yeah. that side of the right. egg graph. Right. <sighs> Is a better tool. Huh? I only saw Do I one. Do I not have any other hooks? I thought we had two or three. Yeah. That's a better tool for this job. Yeah. The one I really want to see. Hold this for a sec and I'll just, huh? I'm just going to get a picture of these strings. That's pretty cool.
Almost got you. They're just flying right at me <laughs> like a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> So where is the tide string? I heard about these but never seen it. There. Some pianos don't have any. Some have oh, so, three or four. So this is just a, a lone string. Yeah, just one piece of wire. Why? Why is that? It's an odd number of strings because you have one. Yeah. One. Up, oh, oh, one yeah. Down, it's a lone so string. That's that makes even, sense. And then you have so one. they have to tie it up somehow. Mm-hmm. And so that's just a coiled on the bottom, and then yeah, just wrapped around. Just wrapped. And, and then, then but do they fine. do they do that? Hmm? Do do you actually make the coil? Yeah, we do that. How do you do that? Do you do that uh, practice? You do it by hand. Do you coil it and then set it, put it on? Yes, yeah, so you make the coil. Yeah. Some round nose how wires. do you? How, what are oh, you using wow. to make the coil? Because that's a big. That's a hard that's, job. Those no. are piano no. wires hard. But piano wire is kind of hard to bend. You, you mess it up a couple times and then it's easy. <clears throat> so, so you just you, use round do you nose do it, pliers. Um, wrapped around something to. You do it wrapped around tension? the. Oh no. The round. You, you just, just do it around the, the pliers. A right? pair of pliers and then yeah. another pair of pliers to turn it around. No, it. not necessarily. You just use Especially your. Especially if you're not. You really just uh, use your hands. Jim this, Busby, yeah. he can do it all day. He just does it with his hands. Well, so can you. Oh, so you just get uh, the, the just wire and it. wrap it. And then you cut it after. So you're using, yeah, you yeah. have a long piece of sense. wire that you're wrapping around, and then you cut it to a quarter inch after. Oh, okay. So you want to have about a quarter inch coils? Well, yeah, I think it's... That's less on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. It was a little bit short on the test, actually. 316, or... Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't remember. 316. But like one I've, quarter is the... Official. That's what they say. Yeah. I was mm. trying to keep it from touching the neighboring string. Can't get it too short. <laughs> and that one's a lot shorter. Yeah. That's like an eighth. Yeah. Yeah. Or less. Yeah, these uh, old time 1906 guys would have failed the test. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and they're the piano makers. Amateurs. <laughs> exactly. I still think that'd be hard because I've been, I've Funny. used piano wire to bend, and it's hard it's to bend. Tough. It's not easy to bend. Like I made a necklace out of one of them, and it took me forever to get like. If you have to do a lot of them, it starts yeah. hurting your finger. Yeah, yeah. It, does. it was hard. Did I tell you that I made when Carmel and I were dating? I made some jewelry out of piano parts for her. <laughs> did I tell you that? No. What did you? What were they? What were they in it. the shape of? She was afraid to put them through her ears because she was like, "This is like." Really old and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> this is really old and dirty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, made a lot of piano wire and. She, was she afraid of trichinosis? I don't know. I think she was. Through the ear. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. She's probably right. When I did mine, I just yeah. I sprayed it with like a sterling silver coat, and it worked pretty good. Then it was shimmery, more more cool. silver. Cool. So David, you remember the uh, Erard? Yeah. Every single string was tied like that. Yeah, that's true. That's Every true. Every single one. And I got a picture of it. Joe got really good at it. <laughs> Holy cow. I remember that. And there are still some pianos to this day. I think Estonia does it. Yeah. So. Um, I think there's Did, a couple They must have a machine. Luther, maybe? Mm. I don't know. Do they have a machine that does it? I don't know. 
They probably have a person. They probably have a jig. Oh. Of some kind, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and some of them, some of the, the knots are really fancy, really cool looking. That, mm -hmm. Like there's only, you would have to have a jig to do it. One of those big long ones? Uh-huh. Yeah. Tied like a harpsichord. Right. They look nice. They do. They look really cool. Especially when they're all lined up in a row. They're just all super consistent. It's cool. Mm -hmm. So all the harpsichords are done that way? Can you tell me I don't know. <laughs> you worked I, on harpsichords so. at BYU? A little bit. I didn't get very good at it. But yeah, they were all tied like that. Really low tension? Every time you tune it, you kind of plan on breaking a string or two. Really? Because they're so thin. Oh. Which is why Keith would never tune them. <laughs> why would he never tune them? Uh, I don't, I don't think he knew string. how to do the, the knot. That was always Jim's thing. I see. You could learn. So they're actually really easy to tune. They're so low tension. You don't have to do any pin setting or anything. Oh, yeah. Just pull it to pitch and you're done. And it stays. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, and that's it goes out of tune way faster. Too. Yeah. Yeah. How many strings are there? Uh, two per night. <laughs> no, uh, Keith, and how many? There, there's I'm not many uh, keys, though. I'm not sure. I think Probably there's less. Maybe it depends on the era. Yeah. I know some were bigger than others. I don't know if the keyboard size was different, though. Are there, are there different, uh, um, what's it called? Manuals? Oh, on the organ? Yeah. Manuals? Manuals. Register? Are you talking about the keyboard itself? What, what is it called when you have a keyboard above another keyboard? I think it's a register. Oh, it's a register? I think so. Manuals. It's a manual. Yeah. On the organ, it's different manuals. I don't think so. Not on the ones we had anyway. I've, I've seen one before. Really? I think the two, yeah. It's probably a fancy one. I think I've seen a piano with two keyboards. You know what another cool um, shop trip would be? I mean, we're, we... China, China was awesome. Yeah, we got to plan our next. Wow. But if we didn't want to be quite so ambitious, we could go down to um, Arizona and go to the MIM, the Musical Instrument Museum. Oh. Is it a good one? It's real. It's amazing. It's incredible. Cool. And they have the old instruments. They have instruments from all over the world. It's like a world-class museum wow. in, Arizona. in Arizona. And where is it in Arizona? Cool. Scottsdale, I think. We should go there in um, the winter. It's <gasps> a good idea. That would be winter. that would be pretty easy to do. It's we cold. could just go over. We just like go over a weekend or something. We could, like take, I'll take a Friday off. Is that by Phoenix, Scottsdale? Where is it? We'll take Thursday and Friday off. There we go. Museums are fun, especially musical instrument museums. Yeah, it was a it was a really good one in Belgium. There's a smaller one in Vienna I went to. Yeah, they are cool. Yeah, I'm not sure where they got their funding, but um, it seems like a strange place to put one. It does. Yeah, you don't think of Scottsdale, Arizona, as <laughs> as a uh, historical. Historical for other peoples. Yeah. Although they, I mean, they, it's not just it's not just Western instruments. It's, oh, really? it's African. It's mm. oh, cool. Caribbean. It's everywhere. Yeah. Where's the the runner place? Is that down there? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, runner's not in Germany. Um, the distrib the American distributors in Scottsdale. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, they are manufactured. Probably. <laughs> Do 
you want to know what I did when I when I took these out? I didn't actually uh, cut the wires. I uh, used this, and I didn't cut cut the beckets, and it breaks the wire when you're taking the pin off. Yeah, makes a, a big mess. big mess of the plate. Mm. Mm. Because you have scratching. wire wires all over the place and scratch, making, making uh, scratching up the paint. I can see that. It was efficient. <laughs> oh yeah, that is very efficient. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Will you take a picture of that, Scott, and then add the photo to the Lester album? Where's the Lester album? Google Drive? Google Albums, photos? I think I forgot to share that. Yeah, I have not being shared any of this. <laughs> Here I am taking pictures. I can upload to it, too. That'd be great. Is, that, is everyone doing that now? I guess everyone taking Everyone's doing it, Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> <I>, okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Just share them with me, though, because a lot of times, like, I'm emailing customers to, so then I can just see it, mm -hmm. yeah, and figure out from the picture what's going on. So it's great. Did uh, Micah and Matt... Um, Get a lot done today. You know, were, they, were they here all day? Uh, we'll have to find out. We'll have to find out where they are on the list. Let's finish this um, for now. So, so there you have it. Uh, I think I think Joe will probably be done with the Steinway and get this is his next project. I think he finished oh. yesterday. Did he? I think so. He said that that's what, what his goal was. Awesome. So, um, so hopefully he'll get some progress on this one, then we'll pick up wherever Joe leaves off next week. Facebook Live. <laughs>